BoxingVoice.com live here with John Molina. John, big question of the hour. There's been a lot of rumors going around who Adrian Broner is going to fight next. I've heard your name be mentioned in it. Have you heard those same rumors? And also, do you know if it's true? Do you know if you've been talked to? Has he contacted you? I've been lying to say if I, if I didn't uh, hear those rumors, but of course I hear the rumors. Um, but as of right now, that's all they are until a contract's uh, presented to my team, which is pretty easy because uh, they, they know who my team is. You know, Luckily, I'm signed with Al Heyman now, so everything works a little smoother. But uh, if that's the fight they want, that's the fight I'm willing to take. That's the fight I want. You know, um, does Team uh, Broner want that fight? I doubt it. So I, I don't think it's going to happen. But again, it, it, you don't know what's going to happen. As the fight gets closer, we know the time frame that we want to prepare for the fight. So I think uh, in the next couple of days, we'll find out something. So now, you just said you were signed with the man, the myth, the legend, Al Heyman himself. What ha has he talked to you about your future plans now after you obviously you stopped Mickey Bay in the 10th round with an impressive victory? Where has that gotten you so far in boxing? Has it has people like obviously someone like Adrian Broner is now talking to you? People are mentioning you alongside those names. Do you feel like it's kind of re reinvented your career? Oh, I mean, again, boxing is the one of you done for me lately sport. Everyone knows that. I mean, you could it's almost like an actor. You could have a hit movie, and then the next movie could be a flop, and then you're off the market. But uh, that's the beauty of our sport. At times, that I could change it with one punch, and luckily I did that. And um, yeah, I mean, come on, I'm signed with Al Heyman, and it doesn't get any better than that. You know, uh, he's the, the most powerful man in boxing. And in regards to my future, um, I, I leave that up to him. I leave that up to him and what the next move is in, in, in regards to uh, what I should do. You know, um, I still have a promoter who I am, that's done good by me and Goose and Tudor, and I, and I appreciate them. And they, I had them for five years. So, again, I have, there's a team behind it. It's not just one man. There's a team. But with that being said, yeah, the victory over Mickey Bay did kind of catapult me to where I needed to be. And uh, I keep always telling everyone that I learned in the pros. I only had 22 amateur fights. I didn't have the extensive amateur career that everyone else had. So now it's my time to actually get out there and do what I do best. And, and that's knocking people out. So you do have that power, and that's undeniable. So did you see something and maybe... Adrian Broner that like when he, he showed vulnerability with Marcos Maidana do you think that you have that same power because he, he'd have obviously have to probably come down and fight you at 140 I would assume yeah. so what do you see in Adrian Broner that you think you'd be able to exploit and you can utilize your game plan to actually win I mean we could go far farther back than Marcos Maidana if you look at him I mean, Broner's had those problems since uh, Ponce de Leon and I believe uh, there was another Cuban guy that he fought on ESPN even before that who was an unorthodox style that gave him problems so against the unorthodox style and guys with power, Broner, uh, again, like I said before, no pun intended, always had a problem with it. And, uh, of course, I mean, that's the blueprint. You know, I hate using that word. It's so cliche. Everyone's using the blueprint word. But uh, with that being said, uh, I know what I do best, you know, and do I feel like I hit like Marcos Madonna? Absolutely. I, I do know that I am one of the hardest punchers out there, 135 and 140. You know, I'm not the most technically sound guy, and I'll never claim to be. I'm not going to beat a guy at chess, but I'm going to get in the fight. I'm going to pressure him, and eventually I'm going to knock him out. So we know that rumors all the time don't come to fruition. So if you had your choice and say Adrian Broner was out of it, where would you like to see your 2014 go? Uh, wherever my team tells me to go. Um, anybody. Anybody at 140. Danny Garcia, Lucas Matisse, uh, Adrian Broner, all the top names. That's, those are the guys I want. If they say that, oh, well, maybe you should get a tune-up fight. Well, with all due respect to those sayers, I've had 30 tune-up fights. You know, 27 and 3 now with 22 knockouts. And I feel like I'm ready to make my move. All right. Thanks a lot, brother. Thanks for your time. Thank you.